I thought it would be interesting to talk a bit about the spiritual life on the Bruderhof. In a sense, living in community is worship. It's not just something you set aside for a few hours um, a week for. Working together, sharing meals, all the daily encounters with people should bring us closer together and in that way closer to God. But it is important to have specific times where we focus our hearts and minds on God. And that happens in a bunch of different ways. We meet as a community at least three evenings a week. Sometimes we talk about practical issues or changes, but often we read from the Bible and also from writers and thinkers like the German pastor Johann Christoph Blumhardt, um, Dostoevsky, Tolstoy, C.S. Lewis, Jean Vanier, and so forth. Some evenings we meet outside and sing. Um, we have an enormous and varied repertoire of songs, folk songs, hymns, classical pieces. Some of the meetings are for committed members only, but we also have meetings where everyone's invited. On Sundays, we have a short gathering for all the kids, which I love, and then a longer service for the adults. We do celebrate the Lord's Supper several times a year, and usually that happens around Christmas and Easter, but it can also happen if there's something special or important going on in the community. Every time there's a baptism, a wedding, or someone gets accepted into membership here, it's an opportunity to talk about what those steps mean and for those of us who've already taken them to reaffirm those commitments for ourselves. For me though, probably the most spiritually transformative times have been after there have been conflicts, um, as inevitably happens when you live together with other people. Um, but we meet together, talk about the problems, and fi find forgiveness for one another. I think that's probably one of the most overlooked aspects of the gospel in Christian groups, um, which is funny because it features pretty heavily. <laughs> of course, it can be difficult, but without that foundation of forgiveness, you can say all the prayers you want and follow the most beautiful liturgy, and it will all be for nothing. Well, if you have any questions on this topic, feel free to leave them in the comments and I'll do my best to answer them.